Well, I just wanted to give a quick update on to what I've done since the last video. I went ahead and just built this little board for the time being to hold all the electrical components in place. Um, I realized that just having them laying freely around was nothing but a major disaster waiting to happen. So just went ahead and attached the stuff. Uh, anyways, I mounted two fans behind the gecko now, and it really does help a lot to keep it cool. The way I'm powering those fans is with a 12 volt um, power supply, which I just grabbed from an old piece of electronics that was laying around. So it has more than enough power to do that. Um, I also mounted the e-stop right there. That's not going to be there once I build the case for this. It's actually going to end up by the um, monitor up on that uh, top mount. And another cool thing I added is the Microsoft Xbox controller. I've just had this piece laying around for a couple years now and I haven't ever used it and uh, came across this little tip online to uh, figure, uh, you know, so I could configure an Xbox controller on this machine. So I'm going to go ahead and get that hooked up and uh, show you. Right, this time I'm going to go ahead and demo it using this Xbox controller. Um, the one thing that's really nice about this is it gives you complete control over speed. So it's just not go like if, as if you were touching the um, arrow keys on your keyboard. So this will actually move it one step. And this actually allows you to do a variable speed so you can start out very slowly or zip it across whatever you need to do. Also this controls the Y axis as well. Same thing, variable speed where it's almost nothing but a movement to pull out. Um, turning it in a cross directional pattern will move both axes at one time. And then this one controls your Z axis up and down. So now it's fully functional to go ahead and play around with the three axes and uh, just be able to uh, move it like I've never been able to do before. So this Xbox controller I think is really cool and uh, you got to thank Kronos Robotics uh, with the tutorial that he put out allowed me to get this up and running in under five minutes. So thanks for that.